It's fine. Tonight we are having dinner at Monster Hall, which is at the France Pavilion in Epcot. And I actually never knew where it was exactly located. <laughs> and it's in the upstairs right above Le Chef's de France. It's not your typical bread service, so you do get bread before your meal, but they, instead of actually just setting the basket of bread on the table, they come around and bring you out fresh bread, and then they put it on your plate. So I got a cheese bread, and I got the it's Parmesan and herb bread. And he said if you want more, just ask him and I'll bring more over to the table. And I got the French bread and the Parmesan bread. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. It's like nice and warm. I like a lot of butter. Don't judge me. Bread's excellent. So this is the cheese bread. He told us what kind of cheese it is, but I sort of forget. Swiss. Is that what he said? It's really good. And you know what? Good thing I didn't hear what he said because I don't like Swiss cheese, or so I think. But this is excellent. <laughs> Alright, so I have the pan seared halibut. It comes with a fennel puree, steamed potatoes, a baby fennel salad, and clammy mulch. I've only heard really good things about this place. So. That's amazing. The, the fish has a really nice crispy outside, and then it's very nice and flaky, light on the inside. I think the steamed potatoes are steamed potatoes, but the fish is is amazing. Very, very good. Um, I could definitely get this again. So I got the grilled beef tenderloin. It has pearl onions braised in wine, pearl potatoes confit, mashed potatoes with tarragon, and then it has a Bordelais sauce. And it looks amazing. He didn't even ask me how I want my steak cooked, so I knew that it was going to be perfect when it came out. Because <laughs> when they don't ask you how you want it cooked, it's because they know how to cook it. I barely even needed my knife to slice that. Steak is seasoned perfectly. That Bordelais sauce. I love sauce like this with my steak. It's amazing. I'm gonna try the potatoes. I got a little bit of the mash and then the other potato with it too. It's really good. So how's the food so far, Taylor? It's excellent. It's really good. I love the atmosphere in here. It's, the decor in here is beautiful. And the food has been amazing. So yeah, food here is uh, surprisingly very good. I was kind of worried that I might not be able to get something. Um, the halibut's fantastic. Probably recommend getting the halibut. Service is very good as well. Our server is very nice. Why were you afraid you like to get something? Well, I was afraid that they might not have something that I like. But they did. And the halibut was good. The, only, the one thing that I'm always worried about coming to these kinds of restaurants is that they like have the menu set up and it's like in like French, it's in like another language. And then like the, the English description is not as descriptive as what maybe it is. And so like that always kind of bothers me. But it's good so far. It's, it's starting to get very loud in here. I think because it's getting really cool. I think the restaurant opened up at like five o'clock and we got here right at five, so but it's still it's very beautiful. Nice. Well lit. So I have another question. Does anybody, does anybody that like comes to eat at Disney, do you ever use the salt and pepper that they put out on the table? I'm just curious because I'm pretty sure that I have never used the salt and pepper ever. There was one time, remember? At a restaurant. 
in Disney? One time you did. Where? <coughs> I did recently over at the Sharks, Underwater Shark Grill. Oh, that's it. Over that's at SeaWorld. Okay, that was But never Disney. on Disney property. I've never used salt and pepper. So I'm just kind of wondering because like at home when we cook, I'll, I'll always use like salt and pepper on my food. But I'm just kind of curious because I know a lot of people like judge the use of salt and pepper as whether the food actually has flavor or not. So just curious if anybody does. So the entrees were excellent. Now we got to get some dessert. Can I take a picture? Oh, it's cool. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. It smells so good. Thank you. As you can see, I got the chocolate sphere. It was a dome with chocolate around it, or a sphere of chocolate around it. And then they dumped hot fudge on there, which melted. And now there's ice cream and cake on the inside of that. It smells so good. I'm just gonna break it. Excellent. It's like just the right amount of chocolate mixed in with the cake and the hot fudge. It's really good. All right, so I basically got the, uh, I'm not even sure, palme caramel, um, but it has uh, caramel, caramelized, caramelized apples, shortbread Britney style, vanilla cream, green apple sorbet, and a warm caramel sauce. So basically that's what you saw was the warm caramel sauce they were pouring on top of, uh, I, I'm guessing this is white chocolate over top. Looks really good. Smells really good. That's very unique. I've never had anything like that before. Yep. This um, this like green apple on top is has a really like sour uh, sour bite maybe. Also, and then you have um, caramelized apples underneath, mixed in with the, the like basically the vanilla ice cream. It's very good. All right, so we just finished eating at uh, Monsieur Paul. It's pretty good, actually. It's it's it actually good. not a bad restaurant. It is a signature restaurant. That's why I was a little bit more dressed up. Oh yeah, that is true. That's why I wore jeans and a polo. It's good, uh, probably worth a try maybe one time. Yeah, at least. Um, I'm, still, I'm still not a huge fan of French cuisine, but the halibut that I had was so really good. Oh, and my, my beef tenderloin was really good. Obviously, if you haven't been able to tell, I get steak pretty much everywhere we go. Pretty yeah, much. That's all Taylor gets. <laughs> I try to be di you know, diversified slightly, but. Whatever. Um, and the dessert, I think, was, was good. Oh my gosh, my dessert was real, so good. And I loved how they poured the that warm was cool. sauce over top yeah, of it. That was cool. But I don't know. I mean, the dessert was good, but it's definitely not something like I could have definitely done without dessert. It wasn't like out of this world great. Josh thinks that about every dessert, though. He's like not a big no, dessert person. No, there are some desserts out there that are very good. His almond cheesecake so, at Narcoosie's oh, that we haven't had yet. Yes. But we are going there for back. our anniversary. I need to get back and get that because that is really good. Yeah. Have you guys eaten here before? Yeah, Comment let us know what you think. Let us know, you know, did you think it was worth the price or not? I thought it was really good. I would definitely be fine with not eating here for, for quite a while. Okay. Except whenever he was eating his food, he said, I would definitely get this again. I would get the hell of it again. <laughs> and I'll come back to eat, but just not, not for a while. We got lots of other places we got to try. Exactly. Yeah.